What's up guys, welcome to my 15th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be going over a couple tools. Um, the first tool I want to go over is something called the Slip Tool. And uh, I don't know if you notice or not, but I got a whole bunch of new clips that I'm going to be working with. Uh, these are just clips, just random clips. You can use any uh, short movies or anything. Uh, let me just start out with this one. Just my friend uh, reading a ticket or something. And what the slip tool does is take your clip right here, which is this whole little blue bar is my movie. And it allows you to adjust in and out points. And if you don't know what that means, I'm going to show you what it means. Say you edited your clip. So it's in your timeline just how you like it. Now, as you can see, whenever we edit our clip, we... uh. After Effects shows you, even though it's not showing the movie, it shows you the uh, ends of the clips just so you can see how long it is. So what the slip tool does is allow you to keep your clip in the same location but move um, the time. So say you edited this clip, you already put a bunch of keyframes in but you're like alright instead of my friend reading this ticket right now I want him to be um, talking right now so all you have to do is instead of moving all this around like this what you have to do is go hover over the light part and remember the dark parts are the parts that are showing whenever it's in the light part it's a blank hover over a light part and slide it and as you can see, the in and the out points are changing. And although your clip doesn't change position, you're allowed to change the time and therefore the scene of the clip. So this is a very useful tool whenever you got everything laid out and all your keyframes situated. But then you go back and you're like, all right, I got everything just how it is, but I just want to change this a little bit. So there's a one useful way to use a slip tool. Another thing that you can do, let me go ahead and fix this. Another thing that you can do is split layers. Now, this is uh, pretty much exactly like it sounds. Say you got one layer, but you want to split it in two. So, see my friend's reading the ticket right now, and now he's talking. Move your current time indicator right in between those places. And then you want to go up to edit. And then after you want to go to split wherever that is here it is edit split layer and now as you can see you got two different layers that you can work with you got your uh, layer where he's reading the ticket that you can uh, apply keyframes to or animate however you want and then you got a whole different another layer where he's uh, talking so this is how you can uh, animate uh, the same scene split it up so you're not messing with the other part this is going to come in use a lot later. In the last tool I want to actually the last two tools I want to go over you guys with is the overlay and ripple tool. And these pretty much uh kind of act just like they sound. Say you got this is the uh, actually we made these two dance clips and say we wanted to add a clip right in between them. To do this, we will need a tool called the Ripple Tool. So go ahead and get a uh, scene. This is an entirely new scene. And down here on the bottom right, these are the Overlay and Ripple Tool. The Overlay is the little arrow that's overlaying the gray thing. And the Ripple Tool is a little Ripple Tool. Well, that makes no sense, but you know what I mean. What the ripple tool does is pretty much take this scene and squeeze it in between your two clips wherever the current time indicator is. So as you can see, if I press this, now we have this first dance clip. The ripple tool squeeze this movie in between, and then we have our last dance clip. So instead of what was touching here and here, we now have this new robot scene in between. And what overlay does is a lot different than that. <coughs> it pretty much says, all right, wherever your current time indicator is, 
that's where I'm going to start. I don't care what's below me. I'm going to lay my movie right on top of it. So as you can see, this doesn't try to squeeze in between or anything. It just pretty much lays on top and uh, takes justice over any scenes that were below it. So again, the ripple tool squeezes it in and doesn't mess with any of your other clips. The overlay pretty much is like a blanket and lays the new clip on top of your old ones. So that new scene is the only one you're going to get to see. So the best way that you can actually learn these clip, learn these tools, I mean, is just uh, work with them for like five seconds each. And once you do, you'll get the hang of it. So if I sound like a little confusing, it is confusing trying to explain them, but work with them. And uh, after you work with them for like three seconds, then you'll pretty much be an expert on them all. So that's all the boring stuff we had to learn for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I promise it will be more exciting. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.